every church uh, in many ways uh, grows in a very fundamental way because they have good things to share about what's going on at their church. And for our members, this is um, another good thing that they can share uh, with their friends, relatives, associates, and neighbors. Hey, we're doing a nativity scene. What's that? Well, a nativity scene is a reenactment of, of the birth of Christ. You should come. Um, it's going to be right in the middle of Homewood. Homewood, yeah, in Homewood. Yep, there's something great going on in Homewood, and our church is a part of that. Now, this is Leroy. Oh. They're three months older than these. <laughs> Well, Bap Baptist Temple Church is a predominantly African-American church located in the Homewood section of Pittsburgh. Uh, it's a diverse congregation of many different ages, people from different walks of life. I love Baptist Temple because of the Gener the different generations that are there. I also love the fact that we have a pastor who's passionate about changing the community and transforming it for the glory of God. I've had this vision for about five years and God has always given me things to do. This one I couldn't pull off by myself, so it took me a while to find someone who I could explain the vision to. Back up again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, to be honest with you, uh, when Carla first brought the idea to me, she broached the subject uh, a few years ago. And my initial thought then was that it's a great idea I don't think is going to come together, though I didn't share that with her. Now, people tease me and say people are going to shoot them and eat them, but I don't believe that. <laughs> I believe that in our community, our kids need to see things like this because it's there, they can do it. If you don't plant the vision, if you don't do things that tell people, yes, I can, they won't, they may have the vision, but not know the steps as to how to accomplish this. Well, it is my belief that Jesus was a baby of color. So in the suburbs, we certainly wouldn't he certainly wouldn't be portrayed as a baby of color. Our, our young people need to understand that Christianity is not a white thing, it's a God thing. This will be a traditional nativity scene. We're going to have Mary, we're going to have Joseph, we're going to have a camel, we're going to have all the animals, we're going to have the wise men, we're going to have angels singing. It's going to be fabulous. God will be pleased and he will be blessed. These are Sicilian donkeys. And they say that it is the sign of the cross and any huh. of the babies that are descendants of the, of the one who carried Mary, they carry the sign of the cross. And I think it's important uh, to counteract the blight with light, with positive events um, in the middle of Homewood. Because I think that an event like this should be shared uh, with all people. Um, and. It, it's a wonderful thing when you consider uh, that for a community that there are events that, is, that are family oriented, uh, that are safe, that have a good positive message. I've often heard that Homewood is the poorest community within the city limits. Homewood to me is a wonderful place to grow. When I first went, came to Pittsburgh, I visited the street where the church is and it was a beautiful, beautiful street. It's very rewarding whenever uh, I can take these animals into the inner city where children don't have the opportunity to see, let alone feed and hug and touch these animals. Um, and the feedback that I get is wonderful. Uh, makes my heart skip a beat. And this is our way of introducing Jesus, the person who will transform their lives to our community. Baptist Temple is comprised of people that understand uh, that we, we do have to, in a sense, put our money where our mouth is. But in addition to that, um, Baptist Temple Church is a church that uh, wants to put and keep first things first. And for as a church, that means doing the things that uh, the church 
that is a priority for a church. Well, I'm old school and I'm going to say this, money talks and everything else walks. So we need money. First we need the Holy Spirit. We have really prayed about this and I've had people at my church pray about it. I was very hesitant to mention it to the pastor because of the expense. It will be expensive because when we do something for God, we're going to give Him our best. But that I hope it, it opens up the door uh, to even greater possibilities for our church, for, for all the churches, for all of the community, and for the city. Uh, because we're really just a, a small uh, church. Uh, we're, we're not uh, a, an extraordinarily sized church. Uh, we don't have unlimited resources. Many of you know about Community Day, aka Celebration, right? We're trying to do something on that scale the outdoor activity scene for the whole city. It's a big event. The scale of this event is something that this city has not seen in Homewood ever. And I just thought we were the church that not only could, but we're the church that should bring the real message of Christmas during the holiday season. So, Come see our community and see God move there with God's people and with a church leading the charge.